Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel, Channel Pixel Paul, game hunting, game collecting and occasionally game playing. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I am Pixel Paul. If you would consider subscribing to the channel, that would be hugely appreciated as ever. But if you're coming back for more gaming goodness, thanks for pressing play once again. So we have a Gaming Grabs video for you today. Um, not done one for a couple of weeks actually. Um, that's not because I've not been out hunting, um, possibly not specifically hunting, but I have still been you know, dropping into the odd CEX or other game shop over the last couple of weeks and picked up uh, a few games along the way. Um, yeah, a bit of a mixed bunch actually this week. Um, some decent buys and one or two that I've had on my radar for a, a um, uh, for a good few months. So yeah, before I uh, show you what I picked up over the last couple of weeks, um, I have put together a little bit of footage. I didn't really purposely take any sort of proper footage, if you like, over all these last two weeks. Um, I've just took up a, a couple of uh, quick video clips, um, just uh, mainly picking out one or two things that I'd seen while I was out and about, actually. Some of the things I bought, some of the things I didn't buy, um, but just it seems to be some interesting changes to some of the prices, certainly in sort of CEX. Um, I'm noticing a few games going down, some going up. Always happens, I know. Um, but just some of the titles that I've seen recently sort of dropping in price have been quite interesting. So, um, yeah, you might pick up on a few of those during the, uh, the footage. So before we have a look at the games, let's have a quick look at me out and about. <laughs> So here we are, another day, another CEX. Some nice games in this one, actually. Some really decent handheld games too. PSP, not a huge amount, but one did catch my attention. That one in particular. 
But yeah, there's a couple of decent games in here. Always has been actually quite a nice selection of PSP in this uh, CEX. I think this is CEX Lee. Again, PlayStation 2 stock is not too bad in this one. Still some decent games in here. But just not quite as many as they used to. And they definitely don't have as many Nintendo 2DS games or 3DS games, I should say. Definitely less stock than they used to be. But again, there was one in particular that caught my eye. And that was this one. Did I pick it up? Oh, yes. So another different day, another different CEX. I think this was Manchester City Centre. On my lunch break, had a quick look in there. PlayStation 2. Again, not loads of stock, but they did have some nice pickups there. Not that I picked any of these up because the queues were horrendous, but Dirge Cerberus on the PlayStation 2. I think that's come down £10 now, but I think that was a little bit more uh, not so long ago, maybe 12 maybe even £14. Sadly, like I say, the queues were horrendous, so I didn't actually pick anything up from this CEX. But looking at the footage back now, possibly one or two of these Xbox games I wish maybe I'd grabbed. KO the Kangaroo 2 there, which I just kind of dismissed. Um, that's quite rare. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little montage of uh, games and game hunting. Um, yeah, like I say, quite a, quite a lot of CEX in there, which I do apologise for. Um, but like I say, I've only been sort of nipping into game shops occasionally here, there and everywhere over the last couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, like I said before, I have picked up one or two interesting things. Quite a mixed bunch this time, actually, spanning quite a few generations, quite a few different consoles. So uh, let's crack on with it. First thing I did buy was another brand new mug for my video cup of tea. So that's another PlayStation mug for the cupboard, which my wife, Mrs. Pixel, is uh, overjoyed at. So cheers. So off we go. So the first three games, um, and if you've been watching videos on my channel, you may have seen me doing uh, a series called My Retro Journey. And the last video I did was on the Sega Mega Drive. So I actually included these games on that video. Um, I'd literally picked them up that day and then um, done, did that video that evening. So, um, But they are still part of the, the, the sort of weeks uh, or two weeks even gaming grab. So I thought, well, I'll include them on this video as well, just in case people haven't seen them on uh, My Retro Journey, which you can check out the playlist on my channel. So first up was The Terminator on the Sega Mega Drive. Got this from CEX. Cost me £15, um, possibly a little bit pricey. Um, Got to be honest. It was a little bit of a impulse buy, um, but I do love the Terminator films. Loved the original Terminator as well. Um, so I saw this and thought, you know what, I'm going to add that in. Um, it's tough as nails, this game. Really difficult game. Um, but yeah, what I've played so far is quite good fun. This The box isn't in the best of condition for this one. There was no manual, but um, that's why I think it was slightly cheaper. I, I think it is, uh, well, obviously now with CEX's pricing structure on retro games, it, uh, with the manual, it would have been a lot more expensive. So for £15, I'm quite happy to pick it up at that price. Um, and I do love that front cover. I just think that is such an iconic movie poster picture. Um, possibly Arnold Schwarzenegger at his best, maybe. People will probably say Terminator 2, but no, excellent, uh, excellent film. And a decent game, if a little bit difficult. Uh, still on Mega Drive, we've got uh, an arcade classic, Altered Beast. Again, this is actually in pretty good condition. I paid £10 for that at CEX at the same time as I bought that one. Um, yeah, I was never a massive fan of Altered Beast, but I have been playing this. And I've been enjoying this a lot more uh, playing it now than I, uh, than I did when I played it years and years and years ago. Um, so yeah, it's an uh, interesting game. I've, I've actually enjoyed it a lot more than I was expecting to. Um, but like I say, that was a bit of an impulse buy as well. Um, so yeah, Mega Drive, Altered Beast. And another uh, Mega Drive game. This one I picked up from Cash Converters. Uh, and it is, it's a bit of a mouthful, NHLPA Hockey 93. So ice hockey game for the Mega Drive. Uh, picked this up for just ding, 199 um, which I thought was a pretty decent buy. Uh, the box is a bit um, weird because it doesn't properly shut. I think the two clips inside have, uh, have broken off, but um, potentially I might be able to find another box for it at some point. No manual again, sadly, but for two quid, 
I was always going to pick that up. So those were the Mega Drive games. So I think we'll stick with uh, Cash Converters next. Uh, another three games that I picked up from Cash Converters. Uh, first one is on the PSP. And it's Dark Star Dark Stalkers Chronicles: The Chaos Tower, and I picked that up for two ninety nine. Nice and complete, decent condition actually. Um, yeah, I, I knew that this was. I was a bit surprised at the two ninety nine uh, price tag on that because uh, I knew Dark Stalkers games usually go for a bit more than that. Um, and then I checked the CEX app and. Uh, yeah, they're selling it for eight pounds at the moment, so um, five are off that, which I thought was a decent buy. Quite a good uh, beat em up as well. I've had a quick go of it for a portable game, uh, handheld game. Yeah, not a bad 2D plat uh, platformer beat em up. So, uh, yeah, I'll be giving it a bit more of an in depth playthrough at some point. But yeah, what I've played so far is quite good. Dark Stalkers always has amazing covers as well. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Right, next up we've got uh, Ninja Gaiden 3, PlayStation 3, that was uh, 199 you can see that there, 199 Again, I think CEX is selling that for, what was it, do, 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 £5, so again, a couple of quid gets, a couple of quid saved on that one. Um, again, these uh, Ninja Gaiden games are notoriously difficult games, you might remember a few it might be a month or two back actually. Now I've picked up Ninja Guide and Black, I think, for the Xbox. And I mentioned how difficult they are. Um, and yeah, I think this one's no different. So I'll give it a quick go and probably uh, get beaten a lot. But that, uh, Ninja Guide and 3. And then another one, which now this is a classic. Um, I played this on the PlayStation 3. Um, I just recently picked up the PlayStation 5 remaster. Um, I think I did. I do have this the remastered version of this uh, digitally on PlayStation 4. Um, I can't remember if I played through it or not. I think I have. Uh, possibly not. But I wanted to have a, a physical copy of it. Um, and at this price, I thought it was pretty good. So it's The Last of Us remastered. And they were selling that for $5.99. Decent condition. Um, Again, CEX are currently selling that for £15. So £5.99, I thought that was a decent pick up that. Um, just nice to have that on the shelf in, in many ways. Um, but uh, yeah, I probably won't be playing it anytime soon because I've still got to play the PlayStation 5 version. And I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um, but yeah, Last of Us Remastered PlayStation 4, £5.99. Back of the net. Um, so the next one is a... Uh, rarity, uh, well it's not a rarity, but it's a rarity for me because it's a charity shop find. So, little st story, <clears throat> excuse me, behind this one. I actually had a bit of a clear out of some of my games and some of the sort of duplicates that I've got upstairs. And um, I took a shed load of pretty much shovelware, Wii games and a few sort of Xbox 360 duplicates. I took them to the charity shop weeks and weeks ago um because they were pretty worthless uh you know for cex uh, trading you wouldn't get anything uh, any sort of decent credit for it so i just thought well i'll just drop them in at the uh, the charity shop and um <clears throat> sort of a, about a week later i went back into the charity shop just to, out of interest just to see if they put them out what sort of prices they put on them and um yeah they were all there they're on the top shelf with all these other well there was only a few other games um, but instantly recognised the games that I'd given to them. They were all priced up at £1.39, um, which I thought was optimistic, um, but actually not badly priced in the, the sort of current climate that charity shops are looking to sell games at. And um, yeah, they had all those games there. And they actually had one game right in the middle of all those games that I'd not got, which I'd not given to them. Um, and I spotted it straight away and I thought, oh, I'll have that then. <laughs> um, so it was Sleeping Dogs on the Xbox 360. And I've never played this one. Uh, and it was £1.39, which I thought, yeah, that's not a, not a bad price at all for a game that I've not got. CEX sell it for £1.50, so still slightly under what they would normally sell it for. Um, but yeah, I never played that, so I'd be quite interested to, to see what that's like. But yeah, Sleeping Dogs, a rare charity shop pickup for me. So next up um, is all uh, CEX uh, pickups. Excuse my voice, it just went a little bit then, but uh, that should help. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, all these are CEX games. Uh, the first one is Starhawk on the PS3. 
two pounds I paid for that I've seen that a few times around and never really thought to pick it up I think it might have gone up this recently I'm sure it was one pound fifty not that long ago um it's got quite a cool um cover for it quite the artwork's uh, pretty smart um but yeah I just happened to pick it up this time and have a quick look over it um and it does have a, I think I'd never picked it up because I always thought it was some sort of multiplayer online kind of game. Um, but reading the back, it says it's got a campaign mode on it. Um, and then when I sort of read the sort of background story to it on the back, um, it's like a sci-fi Western, almost a bit like Brave Star. If you remember the 80s cartoon, Brave Star, it sounds a bit like that in a way. So um, yeah, I just thought, yeah, that sounds quite interesting. The box is quite cool. Two quid. Let's grab it. Give it a quick go. So Starhawk. <clears throat> uh, next up another PSP game and this actually completes my Motorstorm games I think um, Motorstorm Arctic Edge so this was £3 for the PSP um, I had been looking at the PlayStation 2 version of this because there is a PS2 version and uh, certainly a couple of months ago that was really expensive for a PS2 game um, I think it was £18, £20, something like that um, which was a shame because I was wanting to sort of pick it up to sort of finish off the Motorstorm collection that I've got. Um, but yeah, saw this for three quid and thought, let's grab that at that price. So yeah, I do like Motorstorm games, quite easy to play, um, but uh, always good fun. Uh, next one. Now this is a game that has a bit of a reputation. Some people really came down hard on this game i think and it's because it became from um i think i think it came from the same sort of developers and same team behind uh, the mega man games now this came out and i'm sure i read somewhere about it being like a bit of a um it was sort of funded by um fans or something like that as well um and when it came out it got a very lukewarm reception um but i played a demo of it i think i played the demo on the switch and thought, yeah, it's all right, this. And that was before I'd read into it, and I could see straight away that there was obvious, obvious kind of Mega Man similarities to it. Um, it's Mighty Number no. 9 on the PlayStation 4. Um, £5, not bad, I don't think. Again, I'm sure that's gone up a little bit recently, because I think it was £4 not that long ago. Um, I, I am starting to spot a lot in CEX that seems to have jumped up, certainly more up than down recently. Not sure what caused that. I think it you know it does happen generally throughout the year anyway, but just recently there just seems to have been some sort of shift you know, across the board almost uh, with games. Uh, like they, they put a pound on every single game almost. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just interesting to see that happening at the moment. But but yeah, mighty number no. nine. Um, like I say, I played the demo of it and thought it's okay. Um, so at that price, I thought let's get that and grab it. Uh, next one is, um, so this is a game that I didn't realise I didn't have, I think I've got the other games in the series, but I didn't have the original in my uh, Xbox OG, original uh, original collection, it's Project Gotham Racing, it. it's only a pound, um, so I thought well I'll grab that now and sort of complete the PGR series that I've got going, um, yeah decent racer aren't they, they're all sort of fairly decent racers these, the Project Gotham Racing games. Obviously now sort of disappeared and Forza has sort of taken over, but um, yeah, nice to add in. Next up, um, another Terminator game. Um, yeah, the Terminator games are very sort of hit and miss. There are some great Terminator games and there are some really rotten Terminator games. So I know like the Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines official, tie, official game was terrible. But then you play a game like Terminator Resistance, which only came out a few years ago, and that was actually pretty good. Um, I think this game sort of finds itself somewhere in the middle, maybe just lower than the middle, perhaps. But um, yeah, Terminator Redemption. Or is it The Termina Terminator The Redemption? Yeah, Terminator 3 The Redemption. Are they trying to redeem themselves from that awful t movie tie-in? Don't know. Um, but yeah, cool cover. Arnie on the front as the Terminator again. Um, never played this one. £2.50 from CEX. I thought, let's give it a go. Um, but yeah, looks all right. I think I know what to expect with this a little bit. It will probably pass an hour or two, um, but we'll see. I'll give it a go. Uh, next 
up is a steel book and you know I love a steel book I always say it um, I actually saw this a few weeks ago uh, I can't remember where I saw it um, but it was just the steel book on its own it didn't have a slip case with it um, but it was dead rusty so I didn't pick it up um, no I'd, actually I tell a lie they I did go to the till to buy it because I thought for two pounds I'll grab it anyway regardless of the condition um, but they couldn't find the disc that was in CEX. So this week I went to I was at a different CEX and spotted this out on the shelves, two pounds again with the slip cover. I thought, back of the net, let's grab that this time. And it is Resident Evil 6. Uh yeah, I know it's not the best Resident Evil game ever, but um the steel book is pretty amazing. And actually this one's in really nice condition. So you can just sort of see it there. No sort of visible signs of rusting, no dings on it, no scratches actually. Uh, inside both discs, nice manual, um, almost as good as new. Uh, so I was really happy with that. And for um, two pounds, um, I'm not going to complain at that at all. I think anytime you can pick up a nice, nice condition steel book for two quid, you're just not going to you're not going to pass it up, are you? So yeah, I am happy to get that one. And then the final game, and this is one that I've been after for a while. Um, I've been tracking it on the CEX app and they've not had any sort of copies local to me. I think the nearest one um, that had been in stock was, I want to say somewhere like Blackpool or somewhere like that, um, which we've just not, you know, it's a bit too far out of the, out of the way for us to go to um, on a whim. Um, but I think I got this, uh, I think we went to Berry. I think we were back in Berry CEX and just happened to spot it on that bottom shelf, just sat there, didn't know that it was in stock, even though I've been tracking it. Um, and I love it when that happens. You just see it and you think, oh, I didn't know it was there. Grab it. It's mine. Um, and it is uh, Star Fox 64 3D on the Nintendo 3DS. Six pounds. Again, I think that's gone up. I'm sure it was five pounds not that long ago. Um, but yeah, it wasn't a deal breaker. I'll pay another quid for it. I've played it. It's uh, yeah, such a great game. I do uh, do love the Star Fox games. Um, I have been thinking about uh, picking up the big box version of Lila Wars, which is essentially the same game on the N64. Um, but uh, yeah, to be able to play it again on uh, handheld on the 2DS, uh, yeah, really enjoying it so far again. Um, a lot of nostalgia for this game. Um, so yeah, I was really pleased to pick it up. Really uh, nice find to get that. Again, really nice condition, complete. And I do love the inside of this box as well because all the 3DS boxes, uh, all the cases have these sort of little squared holes um, inside. And sometimes the developers uh, will use um, use those sort of holes in the box to, to put pictures in. A lot of the time they don't, um, but for this game they did. And it's full of, and I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but it's full of characters from the game in there. And it's just a nice little touch. And just, uh, yeah, really like that with all the Star Fox members there. Star Wolf on the other side. But yeah, just a really nice little uh, package, that one. Nice manual as well. So six pounds. That's another one added to the 3DS collection, Star Fox. And that's your gaming grabs for this week. I um, hope you enjoyed that one. Um, let me know what you think of those games. Are there any there that you think um, possibly I paid too much for? Or you know, if I think you think I found a bargain, let me know in the comments. Much appreciated if you do, as always. And I will always try, to, um, try to reply to, to anybody who comments uh, on my videos. Um, I'm sorry my voice is a little bit croaky today. Um, I don't know why, but it just is. It's just one of those things. Um, but uh, if that's not spoiled your enjoyment of this video and you're not already subscribed to it, if you can hit the uh, subscription button and give the video a thumbs up, always massively appreciated. Thanks again. Thanks for pressing play. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.